and the wind blows on us all. In fact, in America, especially, the last six and a half thousand years of recorded history, we've got probably the most favorable wind that's ever blown. Economics and circumstances, living in a free country, democracy and freedom, uh, an excellent economy. Uh, sure, we struggled at times, but compared to the rest of the world in the last six and a half thousand years, we've got the best wind ever. But if you just let the wind blow, I'm telling you, it won't take you where you want to go. All of us must use this wind to take us to the dreams we've got, to the equities we want, to the money we want, to the income we want, and to all the things we want our life to have. This is where we want to go, and we've got a good wind, but we must not leave our future just to the wind, just to the economy, uh, just to the structure of the way things are happening today. <laughs> Here's what we must learn to do, and that is set a good sail. Set a good sail. And if you'll learn to set a good sail, and that's what my teacher taught me in those early days. He said, Mr. Rohn, the wind is going to blow however it's going to blow. Politics are going to be politics. The economy is going to be the economy. And however it turns out, that's the way it's going to be. What you must learn to do... Blessings mid the pop. See? That's naive. The key is to wish for the wisdom and the skills and the learning so that you can set a better sale. And so that's what I did at age 25. I went to work not on the economy. I went to work not on the community. I didn't go to work to try to change 26. the government. I didn't go to work to try to change my boss or the company. I didn't go to work to try I to went to myself. work went to, to work try to change myself. That's crazy. He started at 25, 26. I started at 25, 26. I started losing my mind at 24, 25. But, yo, I started applying all these, all these fundamentals, you know, that Jim Rohn speaks about, that Les Brown speaks about, that Tony Robbins speaks about, that, that, that Napoleon Hill wrote about in his book, Think and Grow Rich. You know, um, that Dale Carnegie wrote in his in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, that Marcus Aurelius wrote in his book almost 2,000 years ago, Meditations. You get what I'm saying? It's crazy. You don't have to change the world, man. You just change yourself, and that's it. You get what I'm saying? And don't let yourself get the best of you, too. Don't let the best get the get get. Don't let your mind get the best of you. You get what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you're doing, if you're using any substances, if you're doing anything in life, don't let your mind, your train of thought, your way of um, speaking to yourself, you know that 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 self dialogue. Don't let that get the best of you. Stay active. Do whatever it is that you need to do. Those little things matter. Making your bed, sweeping the house, doing the dishes, wash it, brushing your teeth twice a day. Yo, you know how much more discipline that just gives you? It's the little things that matter most. I'm over here rolling this, you know, this blunt. I'm about to roll this blunt and this uh this backwood. Just started smoking them backwards not too long ago. And and you know what? I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna roll this blunt, and I'm not. Just, I'm not gonna chill. I mean, I'm gonna chill, but I'm not gonna chill. You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna get shit done. I'm gonna get on this, on this Zoom call, in like 20 minutes. Probably won't even burn till after. But I'm gonna get on this Zoom call. I'm gonna continue to learn about these new business opportunities that are out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get on this Zoom call for 30, 45 minutes. Learn about this this new business that I'm that I'm getting involved in. It's called Legal Shield. Y'all can con hit up the DM. Or go check it out online to learn a little bit more about yourself. You know, I'm going to do that for a little 30 minutes, 45 minutes, however long it takes for me to be coached in that business. And then, you know, once that's done, at 11 a.m., I'm going to get on another Zoom call and, you know, hear, hear some conversation, you know, some, some wisdom from individuals that know a little bit more than I do about real estate. You know what I'm saying? And assimilate and, and you know, let that, let that kind of be like the water, the nurturing the nutrition that I need to get my own business on the road and to keep me, you know, to keep me motivated and focused on what it really is that I'm out here to do. I'm all about, you know, I'm all about mind, body and spirit. But at the same time, we live in this material reality and this material reality demands certain things of us. You know, we cannot 
We cannot grab and just mold this into whatever it is that we want. Jesus understood that. That's why he went with him and he was like, you know what? I'm going to just go to my father and I'm going to just do what my father's telling me to do. You know, my internal guidance, that self, that self-directing, you know, everlasting existence that really already knows what's going to happen and what needs to happen. But kind of gives us as individuals, gives itself, you know, as individuals when manifested in this human form, the ability to do not what just needs to be done, not just what should be done, not just what must be done, but also whatever the fuck you want to do. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, you can become the greatest that ever was. You can become, if that's what you want, you can become something, someone that can be spoken of, spoken about, and, you know, whose energy can be, um, whose energy can be ciphered from for thousands of years, or for one second, you know, a few minutes on Instagram likes, you get what I'm saying, or you can become somebody like, yo, like, like the idea of this man Jesus, or we don't even have to go biblical, we can go to Socrates, you know, the wisest man in Greece, that rather than apologize and, you know, take back what he was saying, he was like, yo, give me that poison, bro. What the fuck y'all think y'all doing? You think I, you think this is, this body is but, as KRS once said, these bodies are but the limitation of us. Yo, these are not the, this is, this is not our zenith, as he calls it. You know, this is ain't everything that we're here to do this is the limitation and if we learn how to use you know these body these limited body and also you know to go to that that internal source that unlimited that infinite source if we learn how to balance these things yo ain't no saying where we can go you get what i'm saying like yo so that's why yo when i'm rolling a blunt i'm i'm like sometimes i take it personal but then sometimes i'm like bro Chill the fuck out. You'll deal with it when you deal with it. You're already dealing with a lot of shit to begin with. You get what I'm saying? You're over here trying to sell legal insurance. You're over here trying to get people into property. And even if you're not even focusing on this, you're over here trying to, like, you know, get all this knowledge and then at the same time also disseminate the knowledge to other people that may be able to do a better job than you can. With the stuff that you're acquiring. Because that's what I... This is what I... You know, this is what I get. You know, I'm not... I, I understand that I'm not going to be the best at everything that I try. But I, I do understand that I can be somewhat good. You get what I'm saying? I may not be the best fighter alive. But in under two years, yo, I was able to acquire two two belts. One in kickboxing and one in Muay Thai. Two years. Six fight. I fought people that were more experienced than me. That were better than me. But they were not as disciplined as me. You get what I'm saying? They did not believe like I believe. And that is that, you know, that has to happen with each individual, with each and every one of us. We I, I, we can share this information. You know, we can we can have these reciprocal conversations. But at the end of the day, we need to believe as individual in what it is that we want to see. You feel me? Um, being grateful for what we already see. But, no, you know, having that 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 courage that courage to go within, you know, and that courage to have faith, to hope for better things, and the courage to believe in them before you even see them, before you even manifest them. Just like, yo, believe, embrace that feeling that you would have once you do gain that success. You feel me? And start acting and start conducting yourself as such. That's how I see it. You feel me? I only got on this this thing because I, I was like, yo, I got a few minutes before I get on this little coaching uh, Zoom call that I'm about to be coached on, and might as well make a video as I roll this blunt, you get what I'm saying, share some some content, let people listen to my my mentor from the beyond, uh, Jim Rohn, uh, has been mentoring me for like the past two or three, maybe four years, been listening to this, this man, and his wisdom is invaluable, I'm still trying to figure out figure this guy out like yo it's it's crazy man the way he speaks his tonality his temperance is you know these are things these are things that i admire in other people and that i look forward towards developing within myself um ain't nothing wrong with being a copycat you get what i'm saying what we fuck up is that 
we, we tend to copy the wrong cats. You get what I'm saying? Nah, we got to be mindful, man. If you're going to be a copycat, you better start copying the right moves. Because, hey, vanity ain't shit. Vanity is not shit, man. That shit will overfill you and then leave you feeling empty. But, yeah. Um, about to get out of here in like five or ten minutes. So, to that one person that has stayed on this live, thank you. Appreciate you. I hope you gained something out of this. You know, I hope that I came on here and provided um, and spoke what needed to be spoken today. Not just what I wanted to speak. Um, and, yeah. Other than that, I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed, blessed, blessed what is today. Thursday, the 25th of June. And this year, you know, of our Lord of 2020. So, y'all have a great one, man. Y'all have a great one. Y'all have a success-filled day. And I hope y'all bring purpose into your day. That way it has meaning. More meaning that, you know, usually would have. And, you know, that you create great memories for you to keep with you in the beyond. Other than that, I'm gone. One.